wait is over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League final day. Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Manchester City, they take on Inter next on EA TV. And here it is, the last lap in the season-long race for the trophy. Millions of viewers from around the world are tuning in for the biggest final in club football, the Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary box, as always, by the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere building to fever pitch, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. starting 11 for Manchester City Ederson gets the nod in goal Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield and the main threat in attack today should be Erling Haaland And this is how it looks for Inter. Alessandro Bastoni plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Hendrik Mkhitaryan starts alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And leading the attack today, Lautaro Martinez plays alongside Edin Dzeko. And now the Champions League final commences. De Bruyne. A chiseled pass for Gundogan to think about. And providing width. Walker. And now Rodri. Well, strong play here. Oh, could be. Oh, keeper in control. And taken short. Grealish. John Stones. Has a go! Well, he's missed the chance, and the keeper didn't have to do very much. Matteo Damian. It's with a Cherby. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? The game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front. Oh, and a goal for Inter! And just listen to their fans. They take the lead in the final. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Pretty simple for the keeper.
Dumfries. And we saw the situation developing. Holland. The ball with Rodri. Holland. Here's Bernardo Silva. A glorious chance. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Barella. Mikitarian. Martinez. No failure to keep the ball by the Nerazzurri. Gundogan. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Di Marco. Martinez. Jacko. The ball with Martinez. Varela. He must finish. And Edison has somehow kicked it out. And a retrospective yellow card is the referee's verdict. Well, no doubt about it. That earlier challenge was a definite booking. Short corner it is. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Surely! Oh, it's off the post! There it is! Two to the good now, and that gives them a buffer. Well, just take another look at this because he reacts so well and he then keeps his composure. It's a good finish. So, 2-0 now. Kevin De Bruyne, Grealish, City pushing forward with options available, but timely defending when it mattered, and Dyson with a bit of danger here, Dumfries, now Dzeko, well can they be creative from here? Opportunity to deliver the cross. Varela. Great opportunity. A goal. Another one. It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Ruben Dias. The ball with Rodri. And Bernardo Silva has it. Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Terrific block. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Dzeko. It's with Chalhanolu. And a useful cross. Can he finish here? The save was a good one.
Martinez. Oh, fine stop. Well, the referee let it go initially, but now he goes back and cautions him, Stuart. Yeah, it's a good bit of refereeing. He tried to let the play continue, and then he came back for the booking. They favoured a short one here. It was intended for Dzeko. No nonsense clearance. A Acerbi. An alert intervention. Grealish. Martinez. Well read to win possession back. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Grealish. Now with Gundogan. Not accurate enough from Gundogan. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. Holland. Nicely cut out. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Barella. Back with Martinez. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Forty five minutes separating these two sides from glory the second half of the Champions League final begins Barella a wonderful intervention Rodri on to Silva. Under some pressure here. Danger averted. Has the strength to hang on to it. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, so many possibilities, but it didn't happen for them. Holland. Oh, good vision. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Walker. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Inter unable to retain possession. And a tidy ball. De Bruyne, making sure it didn't get past him. Couldn't keep the ball. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. A City free kick forthcoming. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. A change in the offing for City. Takes on the shot. The crossbar got in the way. Threat over for now, it seems. Well, they won't come much closer than that. It's a matter of inches from being a really good goal. Making a bit of headway. 
Rodri. De Bruyne. Well, not hard to read that pass. And the counter looks on here. Options available. And possession given away. Kevin De Bruyne. Lovely ball over the top. Well, not a cross that will live long in the memory. Goal kick. And a substitution in the offing. Manuel Akanji. Foden. Akanji. Rodri. De Bruyne. Really a very poor ball. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And delivered into the box. Oh, good save. Excellent header. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Well, they fancy a short one. And that is how to block. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. Played in there. No nonsense clearance. Italian. And the cross didn't beat the first man. Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there's a cover up. Corner coming up. And there's the delivery. Well, it has come to nothing. Barella. That's well blocked. And the referee says corner kick. Who can he pick out? Oh, a disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. Rodri. Phil Foden now. Might be able to set up the chance. Holland. Oh, good save. And played short. De Bruyne. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Can they keep it going? And let's give credit to the defending. Rodri. We're inside the final five minutes. My goodness, this has not been close at all. De Bruyne. 
Foden. And blocked for now. Holland. And he takes it away. Dzeko. Varela has it. Ball lost by Inter. De Bruyne. for grabs oh right in the nick of time Diaz Jack Grealish and now it's Phillips and there it is full time they are the Champions League winners well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives. And they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night. Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.